New shooter coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by B&H and Atomos. I'm Eric Naso with NewsShooter.com and we are at NAB 2023. I'm at the Adobe booth with Michael from Frame.io and you have some exciting things to tell me about today. Always, super <laughs> glad to have you all here. We're always doing new stuff and what is really powerful about Frame.io today, we were talking before we started, yeah. is, is what Fuji's been up to. Yeah. Progressive company, some people love the stills, some people love the video, but now the H2S and the H2 have a direct Frame.io integration. So I can shoot an actual image of us being shot right here with all our friends, and those images are gonna transmit directly from the camera, photo or video, into Frame.io instantly. So we can just turn around briefly and, and see the footage uh, as we're actually shooting it. it is, it'll get uploaded in there. And so like, we're now giving photographers the ability to get control of their assets, because now the photographer can deliver it directly to Capture One, into Adobe products and allow people to be shooting without having to download those pesky drives and ship things and wait. And I think this gives more control to a photographer because they can control the distribution yes. uh, through products like Frame.io and now they can just do that distribution the instant they hit that shutter button. And also like photographers, just like video editors and colors, they might have a, a crew of people that are gonna you know, do some post-production on their pictures. They can knock them up to the cloud and they can start getting them done. Press photography would be amazing for this. Because oh, you know, you're, you're sending it up to the cloud, somebody can pull it down, resize it. Yeah, and you think about it, you know, news shooter, right? Like, we, we think about like, right now at NAB 2023, there's no AI here, very little, almost none. Two years from now, everywhere, Everything, they're yeah. coming, right? Yeah. Okay, what does that mean? Well, one of the things AI can't do is predict who's gonna win the World Series mm -hmm. and get a photo of that home run on, the, on that home plate. That's where a lot of photography opportunities and videography opportunities were gonna be really important because it's the materials that we can't predict, that we don't know, that we can't generate with AI, that we need to capture and make it into, make it exceptional, make it fast, and get it to the end user. Yes. So I think when we talk about things like Fujifilm, shooting to the cloud, applying AI to do photo retouching, uh, logo uh, trans logo tr uh, removal or addition or things like that and then distribute it instantly those are new opportunities that are going to emerge in our market and it only works if we can shoot to the cloud at the very beginning otherwise we're adding delays to these processes and they become manual when the future of all creative control is going to be automatic fantastic I mean technology and science, it's all moving so fast right now in, in our world with, with AI, it's really amazing. It is, uh, you know, it's, it's almost, um, it's going to be a bloodbath of how fast <laughs> it's going to change. Yeah. But that's why my advice to people is really to get on the right side of where this is going to mature. And instead of fight what the AI is going to do, because some things are going to be bad and scary, yeah. we need to lean into it, get control, and become a master in understanding of how it could work and how to insert ourselves into a place of um, opportunity mm. and uh, control of it as opposed to like sitting in the back seat complaining or resisting or being worried all the time. We, we saw this happen with film to digital tape. We saw this happen with tape yes. to files. We saw this happen with HD to 4K, even SDR to HDR. Yes. The people that lean into this tech are the trendsetters. Yeah. They always seem to come out on top. The people that resist it and want to hold back, I think they're the ones that that suffer a little bit. Yes. So I, I encourage people to really get ahead of this, start thinking about these new camera to cloud workflows and learn how to work it into your workflow before it becomes a standard and changes without your knowing. Is there any kind of like a, a different pricing issue or not, or different thing that comes with it? Or is this just basically like you're expanding the product? Yeah, when you use a camera to cloud with Frame.io, it's included with any paid Frame.io account. If there you have is. a Frame.io account, or an Adobe Creative Cloud account, which includes Frame.io, you have Camera to Cloud. All you need to do is get the hardware, a Teradek, an Atomos, a Fuji, a RED camera. These are all the devices that we've con connected and partnered with. They're all included with the workflow. I've always been a proponent of making workflow better. And uh, I love that Adobe and Frame.io are resources that help uh, move that to people without actually charging extra for it. You may need extra storage if you're, you, you need to have more media that you're going to shoot. But other than that, uh, the ability to integrate collaborators with Camera to Cloud assets is available to every Frame.io user today. Fantastic, exciting times, right? Yeah, thank All you right. so much. Thank you, buddy.